Hey guys, Kevin here with your KevCam tip of the day today. So today I want to show you guys is the I work offset method. Um, so what this does is you guys can change this value down here to a one and it's basically like saying yes. And then what that will do is you guys can actually rename your max and let's say your, your by default Mac one is always going to be G54, but let's say you wanted Mac one to be a G56. So what you guys can do is change that I work offset method to a one, and that's in your basic setup of, you know, selecting your post coordinate system target, all that stuff. Then once you get out of there, we can go into our chord system manager and open that up. And now you can right click on these and rename them. So if I want it to post out as 56, all you do is type in 56 and just leave it at that. Don't put G56, don't put 1-56, just do 56 or 57 or whatever you're looking for. And let's say I want to post out as my Mac 2 to be 55. So we'll do a rename. We'll put this at uh, 55 here. And you'll see it automatically inserts a one dash whatever number you're putting in there, and that's fine. But when you go to uh, type it in there, just type in what work offset you want, and that's it. So now, by accepting that, and if I come in here and we simulate this now, sorry, I meant G code this, uh, you'll see right here we have a G56 now instead of a G54 would have been for default. Uh, same thing for the bottom. So if you guys are, um, even in the case that maybe you want both your your max to output in G54, you can do that as well. You can have the same going all the way through. Just make sure to separate your programs. So just want to show you got that for the uh, KevCam tip of the day and how the iWork offset method works. Thanks, guys. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.